Hey yeah, guys, Dom here. So it's Easter Sunday right now and I've basically got the whole estate to myself. So I figured I might as well do a shop tour video with doors open and good lighting and everything and people don't think I'm crazy. So this is my workshop. Last time you would have seen this was uh, about a month ago when I was just getting it finished up and it was just plaster dust everywhere and it was a total mess and I was very, very stressed out. I'm glad to say that is different now. We've got everything pretty much rocking and rolling at this point in time. You can see there's just knives everywhere. I'm guessing at this point there's about 70 knives here and knives and pens in all various stages of completion. I'm going through hand sanding, moribus knives. You can see this is the, the uh, the tray here for heat treat. The goal is to have this full and dropped off in two weeks. So that's gonna be significant of work. Pens, Morris knives getting ground. At the moment, this is functioning as sort of an assembly workstation. I've got this mat here to uh, protect any you know, delicate finishes and stuff and stop things rolling off the table, which is important with pens and stuff. And all that sort of stuff here. Down here is just storage. My vices, this is a knife vise made by ZJC Knives. A standard vise with a scrubbing thing also made by ZJC Knives and a center punching anvil. Plenty of lighting here as well. Um, this is chemical and etching and all that sort of stuff and anodizing. Etching over here for logos. We've also got a uh, anodizing setup down here. What sort of good stuff. Over here we have stock behind the bin. This is for a titanium project down the road. Significant amount of micarta and steel all around the bin just because that's where it's got space. In here, we have my office, which is a mess as usual. And basically my own private knife show right here. This is where I'm doing the Friday blade drops. You can see what I've got in stock. So this is all for the Melbourne knife show in two weeks. And this is all stuff that's gonna be shipped out probably next week or the week after or stuff that needs to be paid for. This sexy little thing is sold. So it's gonna be going out soon. And then over here we have packing and shipping stuff. Eventually I'm going to put in a packing and shipping station. It's just a matter of time right now because I'm very, very busy as always. Um, these are things that are going to be smashed with the Axe project. So I've got a whole list of things that need a break. And uh, the main desk. This is where most of the work gets done. Um, I also keep a good stash of knives here because, uh, well, it gives me something to play with. And that's made by uh, Forgeworks over in Germany. Cool little knife. So that's the that's sort of the office station right now. Safety gear, drills, and basically stuff to help maintain the rest of the workshop. Leftover stuff for moving that needs to go. Over here with the panograph, did a video on this thing. One of my favorite tools in the workshop, very, very cool. CNC, slowly but surely getting more and more use out of it. I've got a project that I'm trying to program over the next week or two where it's a knife that is made mostly on CNC. I'm trying to learn this a little bit better and get more competent with CNC machining because that means I get to do more unique stuff, different stuff and uh, kind of help expand the business a little bit. So that's something I'm really looking forward to learning. I've had this for a while now and I'm probably, once I'm tooled up and have a better understanding on this machine, I'll probably look into getting a proper vertical machining center. There's a good amount of options locally for secondhand machines. So that's maybe the route I'll go. Next to it, we've got the heat treat oven, which doesn't really get used a whole lot. I've got it there just in case for random stuff. A Kydex station over here. And these are the axes I'm grinding right now. There's gonna be a build video coming out on these things because they are just dope. Uh, there are six of these in progress. The goal is to get these hand sanded by the end of the week and get them heat treated by next week. Hopefully, that's, yeah, a lot of work. Uh, stereo down here, little toast oven. Mostly for doing Kydex and sometimes a temper stuff in there, but rarely. Uh, Kydex drills as well, and a big thing down there for large sheets of Kydex. Besides that, we have sort of the machining area, I'm calling it right now. Um, here is just stuff here for maintaining the rest of the workshop. So we've got my welder over there and just random stuff. We've also got drill presses. So we've got the micro drill press here for very small carbide bits. Um, that's mostly used for doing detents. Um, next to it, we've got this one here, which is my high-speed drill for drilling small, inaccurate holes. This thing here, which is my die grinder. Um, I basically use this and this vise down here in unison to, to basically clamp blades in there. And I'll use the die grinder to kind of round off internal weight reduction holes. 
So that means there's no stress riser, which is a potential failing point. Probably not necessary, but it's just a nice little thing I like to do to make a high quality product. Widowmaker right here, that is temporary. That's gonna go in the grinding room. I just gotta build the, uh, the table for it. And over here we've got the mill. Yeah, it's a mill. It does mill things. I oh, know it's a bit of a weird machine. The drawbar in there is a weird size. And yeah, it does the job. I'm looking to upgrade this at some point, but it works for now and uh, I can't complain. It's, as you can see, it gets used a significant amount. If I've got one tip for knife makers is to look into milling and learning how to run a mill. The mills solve problems, that's all I'm gonna say. Drill press over here. This one is with a, uh, an old thread roll, a rod bolted in there because uh, if you look there, I had a, uh, a piece of metal catch in there once and fillet my hand open, which was uh, not fun. Multiple stitches and all that. So uh, since then, I've now got one of these things bolted in my other drill press to uh, help me keep my fingers, which would be nice. Next, we've got the toolbox. This is mostly storage for end mills and drilling bits and all that sort of stuff and work in progress stuff. We've got some Damascus here made by uh, Lorian Forge, which I'm one day going to make stuff out of. Over here we've got sort of a, an assembly sort of task table. Um, we've also got a granite surface plate here and just work in progress stuff. Everything kind of gets machined and assembled, kind of gets done here before I move over to the, to the other workstation over there. Um, over here we've got the kitchen. Nothing too interesting here. Just a kitchen stuff and a toilet. Um, and this is the grinding room. So this is basically one of the most important and stressful parts of the renovations when I moved in here. And this was, uh, yeah, very, very expensive, but very worthwhile having a grinding room set up. First thing you'll see is the surface grinder. Old machine, I believe this is about 100 years old right now. It works well though, and essentially it uses for flattening stock. In the past you saw I had like a surface grinding attachment or a disc grinder that I used to kind of flatten stuff, but this is just so much nicer. I've been doing production work this week, so I literally just put up 20 blades on this vise and turned it on and walked away and this thing surface ground all the blades with no drama. Before I had this thing, I'd have had to do them all by hand and that would have been days worth of work, but this thing basically just worked away by itself while I was doing other stuff. So not necessary to have, but for production work, it is so, so nice to have a surface grinder and this thing gets used hard. I mean, you can see the amount of mess it makes. It's just everywhere. Belts on the floor as usual, because I am a mess. Next to it, we've got Wilmot Grinder number one and Wilmot Grinder number two and a, a disc sander, which I am, yeah, this is where I spend most of my time. It's set up so I can kind of keep an eye out and see if anyone's coming in here because I do have a lot of people kind of walking in off the street, but mostly just random assholes trying to sell me shit. We've also got uh, sort of angle grinders and stuff in here. What I want to do is build a really short little desk, like maybe 600 deep and have like the angle grind and the tile cutter and all that sort of stuff set up here. So yeah, VFD is all set up on the wall. You can see I've started hanging out my blanks again. I want to start filling these windows up with a uh, knife cut blanks just because it's cool. Um, 15 amp thing here. There's going to be a dust extraction unit coming in here at one point. So we've got the power ready for that. Sandblast cabinets as well. Sandblast and bead blast as well as a little air conditioner in the corner. And I've also got a, a bandsaw set up here. Belt storage. I'm kind of running low on belts, so I'm going to have to put a new order real soon. And most of the stuff here is garbage, so at some point I'm going to go through this and clean it all out. It's just, I'm really busy, man. I'm essentially doing the job of three people right now, so until I can sort of get people on board and hire people, it's just, it's just me trying to do everything at once. Anyway, so uh, that's the workshop, guys. Just thought you'd be interested in seeing us. I'll do an updated shop tour video when I get the CNC in, get some more progress happening. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. So yeah, that's the, uh, the workshop as it is right now. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of surreal for me, you know? This is something I've wanted for a really long time and now that I've got it, I'm still giddy when I come in here and work. It's just, it's just really, really cool and I can't wait to see what, uh, what the future holds for me with all this new workshop and the new orders and stuff and I've got new products coming out all the time. It's, it's really exciting times, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next video.